Sometimes you hear an answer, sometimes you don't. I, I've often told the story that um, I came to a point in my life where I got this woman pregnant. <laughs> she sat me down and said, you have a choice. You either have to marry me and commit to being with me and raising this kid, or I'm leaving and you'll never see me again. And um, I said, whoa, I have to think about that. So <laughs> I drove out into one of my favorite spots in nature, totally quiet, and I meditated. I'd been single for seven years before that, and uh, I enjoyed that life in some ways, and yet it had its loneliness at times. It had its uh, it had its advantages and disadvantages. I always said, but I saw like two paths then in front of me, and I needed to choose one. So I did relax. I meditated very deeply, and I said, "Which path should I take?" And I sat and listened and got nothing at all, just nothing, nothing, nothing. I tried it again, nothing. I said, okay, I went, I went back to my car and then I sat in my car and I did it again. Sitting in my car, I said, which path? And then this little voice in the back of my head said, either way, it's okay. And I immediately to the other voice said, wait, that's way too flippant. This is a major life decision. That's way too flippant. Come on, help me out here. And I got nothing. And then I realized that was the greatest advice at all. Either way, it's okay. That has proven really great advice for me, making all kinds of decisions in life. Either way, it's okay. Either way, would work. So I thought it through and I knew which one she would prefer. <laughs> so that's the choice I made. I got married and had a kid and I'm really glad it happened. But that's a wonderful practice. Uh, so many people are, you know, we, we ask other people questions. That's fine. That's wonderful to get their answer. But do always realize the answer of anyone else is, what they would do, imagining they're you, but it's what they would do. It may not be the best thing for you at all. The very best answers come from within you. So be quiet, get quiet, and ask and see what emerges. See what emerges. And if nothing emerges, sure, go ask someone else. Or but keep trying. Sometimes it doesn't emerge right away, but then sometimes it'll um, much later, suddenly you'll see something or the universe will send you a message. Uh, I had a friend who uh, told me he was, they were driving along with this friend of his through the mountains and, and um, the friend was uh, working in a construction job but he really wanted to, to write. He wanted to write novels and poetry. And he, that's what he really wanted to do. But he was afraid to quit his construction job because of its steady, regular income. And they were just, he was just talking about that. And then they came to a silence and they pulled up to a stop sign. And then he said there was a huge sign on the right that said, stop construction. <laughs> A huge sign was suddenly in front of his face saying, stop construction. <laughs> and he looked at that. And I, he said, I wonder if that's a message from the universe here. This big sign is saying, stop construction. So he did. He quit his construction job. He became a writer and he ended up doing quite well. He ended up really being grateful that he had made that decision. So listen to what comes from within and watch for signs. <laughs> watch for signs 
They can be everywhere. It can be in a TV commercial. It can be in some off the wall comment someone says. It can be anywhere. And the universe is suggesting something to you.